Okay guys, today I'll be showing you how to start with the Intel XDK. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is obviously open up the XDK. And you can download it from Intel's developer zone. So we'll go ahead and launch it. And just let that load. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we're here in the XDK. Um, you can take some templates, but for this we're going to be importing our own code. Now, I have our HTML basics code right here from a previous tutorial, so I'm just going to go ahead and import that. I'm going to go to my desktop and go ahead that folder. And we're going to go ahead and hit on continue, enter a name, I'll just name it HTML. Uh, I don't know, just HTML, create, and you can just leave all this stuff defaulted unless you intend on making some advanced things, and boom, right there, and <laughs> I'm actually very happy that Intel includes brackets as their text editor, because I actually use brackets every single day, so that is brackets. So, once you've got your code imported, uh, there's not really much you have to do. I mean, you can edit it here too. But I'm going to click on emulate. And this just shows us what our code is. So that's a button. and That's a material design button. And uh, yeah, I guess I just have some random stuff. This, once again, is from our tutorial. Uh, HTML, the basics. And of course, we can change our platform device, like... I don't know, we'll change it to... I'll just make it an iPad. And that's what it will look like on an iPad. Surface Pro. Uh, uh, that's broken, I think. Maybe. Now I can't see anything. Bad Intel. Bad Intel. Ugh. I'm sure there's some solution, but I'm too lazy to find it right now. Let's put it in that orientation. I don't even know. Okay, yeah. So you can like just like test it on a few devices, um, and like see what that's like. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Using the XDK is really simple. As soon as you just have some HTML code. You can emulate it, then you can test it with a live device, you can debug it over a wire, and some other stuff. And right here you can, as simple as that, you can build, I'm not, I'm not going to focus on Cordova, but you can build iOS, uh, Android, Windows 8, uh, Tizen, which is really helpful, uh, Amazon, I don't know, if, I'm pretty sure that's Fire OS and Nook, as well as you can build just plain web apps, Chrome, Facebook, or Firefox. So that's really helpful. And maybe even with the release of Microsoft's new uh, Spartan browser, that will be a web app too. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and, subscri and subscribe. Peace.